All right, next up we'll look at question two. Part A says consider the function f of x, y, z, which is equal to x squared sine y plus y squared cos z. Show that the curl of the gradient of the function f, which can be written as del cross the gradient, which is del f, is equal to zero. And notice here this is a zero in bold, as in the zero vector, because we know that the curl of a vector field returns another vector uh, another vector field excuse me so um, let's go ahead and check it out so first off i'll go ahead and just compute the gradient here ahead of time so this is um, uh, of course something we're very familiar with just take the x derivative of f for the i component and you get just 2x sine y the uh, y derivative for the j component that's x squared cos y plus 2y cos z and then the z derivative for the k component and that gives us minus y squared sine z. So now our job is to compute the curl of this vector field. Okay, so the curl of the vector field, okay, which is the cross product of the del operator with this vector field, can be computed using this three by three determinant. So let's go ahead now and compute this out, see what we get. So for the i component, we're going to take the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix formed by deleting out the first column in the first row. So I want to take the y derivative here, and this is minus 2y sine z. And then we're going to subtract from that the z derivative of this expression. And the z derivative here is going to be minus 2y sine z. So I'm subtracting a minus 2y sine z. And notice these are going to cancel out, so I get a 0 for the i component. All right, now for the j component, don't forget that sine alternation here. So we're going to have the opposite of what? We're going to have the opposite of the uh, determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix form by deleting out column 2 and row 1. So I'm going to take the x derivative of this expression, which is just 0, minus the z derivative of this expression, which is also 0. All right, so that gives us a 0 for the j component. Okay, and then for the k component, we take the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix we get from deleting out row 1 and column 3, so I'm going to take the x derivative of this expression, which is 2x cos y, and then I'm going to subtract from that the y derivative of this expression, which is also 2x cos y, and these subtract to give us 0 for the k component. So this is the zero vector field. Okay, so I put an arrow there to emphasize this is not a scalar zero, this is a vector zero, okay? All right, cool, so that's part A. Let's now go ahead and check out part B. So here we're looking at uh, the vector field, uh, capital F, uh, whose components are x, y, z, and then negative e to the z cos x, and then x, times y squared times z cubed. All right, so now our job is to compute the divergence of the curl of the vector field. So I've gone ahead uh, and computed the curl. All right, so just like in the last video, so we, we lay out uh, the three by three determinant. So the uh, components of the vector field are in row three. And then we have our partial derivative operators here, the components of del in the second row, and then the basis vectors up there. So I went ahead and computed that, and I got this vector field here. Okay, so now we need to compute the divergence of this thing. So to compute the divergence of this resulting uh, vector field, which is the curl of our field F, okay, I want to do what? Well, the divergence is where we take the x derivative of p, which is just the i component of this vector field, and then the y derivative of q, which is the j component, and then the 
z derivative of r, which is the k component, and we sum those derivatives together. So let's do that here. So we take partial p, partial x, plus partial q, partial y, plus partial r, partial z. Now one thing, of course, to, to keep straight is that I'm calling these things the p, q, and r. These are not referencing the original vector field. Okay, so make sure to keep that straight. Okay, so let's take the x derivative here. This is going to be what? 2yz cubed. And then here I'm going to get a minus e to the z sine x. I'll put that in parentheses just to emphasize this is the x derivative of p. Then I'm going to add to that the y derivative of q. So this will give us minus 2yz cubed plus x. And then I'm going to add to that the z derivative of the k component. And that is e to the z sine x and then minus uh, x. Okay. So now, what do we notice? Well, I see that the 2 yz cubed and the negative 2 yz cubed, those drop out. That's nice. I see that uh, minus e to the z sine x and the positive e to the z sine x, those will cancel. And then lastly, plus x minus x, nice. So it all drops out and we get the zero scalar function. Okay, so I'm not going to put the arrow there because this is a, a scalar zero. All right, so that is part B. Now, these results turn out to be an illustration of uh, these two more general results that we're actually going to prove at the uh, at the end of the worksheet. Okay, so if you take the gr uh, the curl of the gradient of a sufficiently differentiable function little f, okay, then it turns out that that's always uh, going to uh, give you the zero vector. Okay, now one thing about notation where this can get a little confusing. Now when I did the calculation earlier, I used different color, and that kind of just highlighted, you know, how these uh, dells really line up here. So maybe for emphasis, it might help to put, and you know, oftentimes textbooks will do this. So I'm taking the curl of this vector field here. Uh, and again, it turns out that that will always be zero as long as your function is uh, sufficiently differentiable. And then the divergence of the curl of a vector field, okay, that can be written in terms of del is del dotted with this. So again, for emphasis, put the parentheses there with this vector field that results from taking the curl of the vector field f. Turns out that this is always equal to zero for sufficiently differentiable vector field capital F. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much.